Sadhu, Sadhu, Sadhu. <clears throat> Namo Tassa Bhagavato Arahato Samma Sambuddhasa. Namo Tassa Bhagavato Arahato Samma Sambuddhasa. Namo Tassa Bhagavato Arahato Samma Sambuddhasa. Buddhang Saranangachami. Dhammang Saranangachami. Sanghang saranangacham mi dutiampi buddhang saranangacham mi dutiampi dhammang saranangacham mi dutiampi sanghang saranangacham mi tatiampi buddhang saranangacham mi tatiampi dhammang saranangacham mi tatiampi sanghang saranangacham mi Panati pata veramani sikha padang samadhyami Adinadana veramani sikha padang samadhyami Kame sume chachara veramani sikha padang samadhyami Musavada veramani sikha padang samadhyami Sura meraya maja pama datana vera mani sikha padang samadhyami sadhu 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 Okay, let's let us now just sit quietly for a short while to calm ourselves with breath meditation. This is one of those wonderful moments we can sit together from different parts of the world and link our minds in, in peace. Focus on the breath. Let the breathing come and go just as it is, like a baby breathing. Focus on the knowledge that you are breathing. You know you are breathing. Focus on that knowledge. The other way is, of course, you can locate your breath if you like, if that's more comfortable. You can locate it at the tip of the nose or the just above your belly button, your navel. Otherwise, just be aware of the breathing. You know your breathing. Focus on that. Relax breathing. As the breath, as you breathe in and out, so we start off by counting. Breathe in, count one. Breathe out, one. In, two, out, two. In, three, out, three. In four, out four. In five, out five. At the end of the breath. And smile whenever you feel like it. Smile. In fact, it's good to just smile after each count. So go slow with your breath. Relax breathing. You can count one to five, one to five. Or you can count up to 10, 1 to 10, 1 to 10. Don't use a number bigger than 10, too big. Don't use a number smaller than 5, too small. You can choose any number between 5 and 8 also if you like. If you count wrongly, don't worry. Just go back to number 1. The counting is just to push away other thoughts. To focus on the breath. Sometimes the breathing can be heavy, sometimes light, sometimes fast, sometimes slow. Just let it be. Okay. 
this is the time we are focused on what is of the greatest value to us, our breath, our life itself. So smile happily at it. This is also your pathway to awakening the breath, just like the Buddha. In one, out one, in two, out two, and so on. Now, if for any reason you find counting difficult or, or you don't like it, that's fine. Some people, about half meditators like that, some of them do not like or do not uh, want to do counting. It's optional, but some people like it. So if you do not like the counting, go straight into the second stage. Start with the in, out. In the second stage, no need to count. When the breath has, has come in, note it as in. And the breath has gone out. Note it as out. In, out. In, out, smile. In, out, smile. Inner smile. As you meditate, as you go deeper, you may notice there are thoughts arising, or you hear sounds, or even feelings. This shows you are going deeper into meditation. This shows you are meditating more focus. You can begin to notice all this. Although they seem to be a distraction, it's your own awareness. Smile at them, welcome them with loving kindness, let them go. We don't need them right now. Go back to the breath. Just take it easy, relax, at peace, at peace with your breath. When you're at peace with your breath, you'll be amazed. The blessings of health that comes with it too. Mental peace, bodily health. Yeah. When you do your second stage properly, you begin to feel more relaxed, comfortable. You begin to notice even if there are sounds, they kind of, they recede into the background, they don't trouble you. You might notice there are thoughts, they just recede into the background. So you don't follow them. Just smile at them. Notice the simple act of smiling during meditation is so powerful. This is the mind working, that is why it seems so powerful.
Now in the second stage, as you focus, you may notice the spaces between the breaths growing. There seem to be more space between the in and, and out breath. Don't force this, let it happen. For some people, this may take longer, sometimes it happens quite fast. It's important to prepare properly. Once you notice there is this growing space between the in and out breath, you are ready for the third stage. Spaces. The third stage is called spaces of space. Smile at the space. If the space is too long and you do nothing, you may get distracted. So smiling helps. Continue to note in and out. Within, in. Feel the peaceful space or smile. Then out. So go on like that. Here I'm only giving you instructions. Remember the instructions and then sit on your own as long as you like, as short as you can. In time, as you progress, the space grows even longer. And you might not even notice the in or the out breath. Now they're not even, because sometimes the in breath, the space before the in breath is longer, sometimes the space before the out, after the out breath is longer. It doesn't matter. Just feel the peace of the space. Smile. Try to feel that peace in your whole body and mind, your whole being. If you notice there's any thought coming, gently whisper, peaceful, peaceful. <clears throat> you can whisper under the voice or mentally. In the fourth stage is when you feel really peaceful. You may not notice the in and out. Or the in and out is very subtle. So you just watch everything in silence. So the key word in the stage four is silence. Watch everything silently. You will naturally feel not wanting to say anything, because it's so peaceful. Smile occasionally if you feel like it. Now stage one and two, you will need to work hard on it. Stage three and four, 
arise from your earlier two stages. Stage two, uh, stage one and two are called directed meditation. You can direct your mind. Stage three and four are called undirected. In other words, the less you do, the better, the more focused you'll be. So don't rush into stage three and four. You can never do that to you. Build up one and two and let stage three come first. The space, let it arise first. And let it grow. This is a lifelong practice, so don't rush. There's nothing to rush. There's no cutoff point on no timetable. You just sit whenever you feel like it. You go to a beautiful garden, a nice space, beautiful mountainside, beside a river or a sea or the seaside. These are very beautiful places for meditation. At some point, because you have done so well, you, you might notice the breathing seems to stop. The breathing is, has not stopped, it's just subtle. Just smile and reflect on impermanence, if you like, because all this will change. Or reflect on the peacefulness, peaceful, peaceful. So these are the four stages, counting in, out, space, silence. We will be doing this again, so practice on your own meantime. When we are going to end the meditation, we do what is called review. Review. We look back, we examine how we have been sitting. We remember those peaceful mo moments, joyful moments, remember them. They will help you in your future meditation. They will inspire you to want to meditate. They're also good to remember when you need to feel calm and peaceful, when times are difficult. This is your inner core of light and peace your safe space. So remember this wonderful moment. You may feel difficulties, remember them also, and then just find out how to overcome them. Distractions maybe, maybe to prepare yourself better the next time, things like that. This is done during your review. Take a few minutes, take a, uh, longer if you like, on your own. When we end, we will slowly open our eyes. We begin our meditation slowly, gently. We close it also slowly, gently. So you may open your eyes. And this is called just sitting, just sitting peacefully for a while, doing nothing. Coming back into this world, preparing yourself for this Dharma talk. Okay, Sadhu, that's very good.